Hello guys, this is Maduba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's video tutorial. Today, I'm going to be working on courtyard. I actually want to create a courtyard around this place. There's a courtyard on the ground floor and it's supposed to show on the plan, which is this courtyard right here. So I'm going to show you guys how to create it on the roof. Before I proceed, if you're new here, kindly subscribe to our channel. Turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos like this. Now let's get started, guys. So first off, I'm going to show you what this 3D looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Yes. So there's supposed to be a courtyard here, right here. Let me retrace this roof. I'm going to delete this roof right now and retrace this roof. Okay. So this is uh, the what we are going to trace. We pick the roof and trace. Activate this and activate this complex roof right here, and then we pick the edges. okay just like so then we have the same roof we the essence of redrawing this roof um i tend to show you something so if you want to edit this roof you can't just edit like this you have to split this roof okay by let's see what this roof looks like if it is at the right position in terms of the height okay we have to bring it down is that what I'm talking about? Okay, so all right, so this is this is fine. And we have to go to the ground floor and give this is where we this is where we want to this is where we want the wall to come out to the roof. Okay here yeah. and if i turn on this let's turn on go to our roof turn on the trace reflection uh, trace turn on the trace is not actually showing right because the roof has blocked it so we are going to take maybe a line and to get the reference like this huh? so like this just draw a line and you can give it a color like red red is vis quite visible and then just copy or cut cut it and then paste it here press ctrl v your keyboard okay now this is the outline of the wall where we are going to subtract from this roof so we have to split it just select right click and you will see split into single plane roof huh? just split and click split now having splitted it it will be grouped by default right so we have to ungroup it or you have to suspend the group it's it's better to suspend the group so that you can edit them individually right so we just click this in the individual row. since this is where we want to break subtract just click the edge the node and you see the palette pet palette select this option right here and subtract click the edge subtract yes now we have successfully subtracted this space right here and we're also going to do the same with this place just click the edge and go to this option subtract okay and do the same thing here now that's fine let's go to our 3d to see what it looks like
okay so this is what it looks like we are going to draw a wall okay along this line we can draw from in here or we can draw from the plan mode or i'll take it from the plan instead go to the ground floor pick the walls right pick the wall pick the wall eh? right and copy and paste paste original allocation okay uh yeah that's it so I paste original location and when you paste you click outside of this edges there's a marquee you see right there you have to click outside of it so it's you place it and eh? then you delete the windows don't need it delete the windows okay there's a need to raise the wall up but let's see what we have okay yeah that is what we have right there okay and let's put this so that there won't be space under that so we have to raise this wall to this extent just connect this offset it okay good so we are we have uh, successfully created a wall right here so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to cut it and uh, slice this wall like this okay so let's draw the roof that we're going to use to cut it okay and that's the trying to draw a plain roof across this okay and then we are going to extend it a bit a little bit away from the wall and that's i have to raise it up that's the roof take it up six turn this on okay can reduce this to 10 you want I want the cut to be to I want it to have something like this. Okay. So I'm going to shift this right here. I'm going to shift this roof at the back a bit. Right? I'll take this down. Then bring this one to the edge right here. Okay. And take this up a bit. I want it to be like this okay so and i'll pick this pick this and right click crop to single plane roof and make sure this activated and click okay so that's pretty much it all you need to do is just have to delete this right this is how to create the courtyard on the roof and we are also going to put coping right here at the top to give it a little bit uh, detail all right so i'm going to draw coping right here with a morph i'll take my i'll take the elevation line Or the section, whichever, view it. Okay, so this is meant to be where the line, the elevation cut from the wall, and this is at the, this is the top of the. So we are going to draw the profile from the top right here. Use our profile, our morph. Create a box like so.
So we are going to give it, take it out a bit, offset this side maybe by 30, something like so. Same here, 30, and take the center. This is the center. Take it up. Let's close the pitch. Take it up. So that's pretty much it. We are supposed to maybe fill out this space a bit. 30. Huh? See? Do the same here. Do the same here. Okay, so um, now I'm going to show you something. I'm going to create a node here, right, so that it will be easy for me to trace it, right? So I can pick it here and trace and make it easy for me. I'll keep a node here, right? I'll keep a node here, right? Uh, uh, but we can give it a color that we want, maybe white. So that's fine. So let's go back to our 3D. That's where we are going to trace it. Okay, this is this right here. Huh? So we can. That's the first one. I'm going to delete it. And then let's shift this to this point right here. Okay. Okay. So from here, we are going to trace along this shape right there so we start from here see the essence of making that node you can start from here you can start from here so i'm starting from here you know picking I'm going to be picking all the edges okay So when you make a mistake, you can easily press the backspace uh, to go back. Click the edge. Click the edge. Click the edge. Rotate. Just press your orbit. Press O on your keyboard to rotate. Right, you have to escape. Press escape to um, the the orbit is activated. Just press escape, so you can you should be able to click this edge. And click this edge. You have to be very careful with it. You click the edge and then you just meet it down here at the same edge. Good job. Now that's how to create a courtyard and how to create a coping. So easy and straightforward. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye.